Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Brad wears a thong in Animal Crossing. She was like, I might not have the cash, Tom Nook, but I got some of those for you. I was like, oh my god. All right, well, let's return to or, uh, Vesper Bay, Brandon. Do weird that beach we were at earlier. A uh, slay, slay mud puggles and collect their carcasses. What map? We got to see what map, Brandon. Yeah, because I can't, I can't see it. Uh, here. We're going to... We're going to somewhere. Yeah, yeah, Upper Lanosia. Yeah, I guess you gotta get some carcasses. These are brutal. Okay, go ahead. I see rock somewhere. I don't know what rock. So tell you, you're not gonna do a custom costume. You're gonna a g-string. No. <laughs> I've seen people do that too. I'm like, what the hell is going on? They gave that game too much custom customization. Now this is the price Nintendo pays. You could always do that. All you gotta do is. But make why is it so prominent now? I've yeah, never heard of this because before. Because before people had to guess the skin color just to try to make it match up right. This one you don't have to. They have a tool that, like a PNG, where you can make something just sick. Invisible. Kill that thing, Tyler or Brandon. Let your hand make cute face paint. You killed it. <laughs> oh, your hand. All right, and then you got that fast. Oh, they only level thirty. Yeah, I, I know. saw a girl on Twitter who did the same thing. Heart cheeks. Yeah. Brandon, freaking yeah. cheater. No, you're gonna do it. Don't bother. It's pretty easy though. It's just like a little bit. <laughs> Alright, now you gotta place the carcasses somewhere. In the. The what? The, you already killed enough. The Garongatch? I can't read that word, Brandon. Garongatch. Garongatch. That's my guess. I don't know what that means. The Garongatch territory. The dark territory. I am like so not creative with customization stuff. I saw people putting a bunch of 2B stuff. Great. People use all the stuff all the time. But it was 2B boobies. And people are perverts. Yeah. That's okay. The internet's perverts. To your right a little bit. The internet's perverts. There's your the destination. Perverts. Look at that salamander. Salamander. Jump! Aww. Can't go to ocean. I want her to swim. Can't swim in this map. Go! Okay. Look at this long interaction. Ty, can you still swim in Animal Crossing? Not right now. No. There's no I liked, I liked the diving, but I won't miss it. I but like it was the diving nice. too, but. Lion yeah. wave yeah, for a Garen Gatch, Brandon. So a monster's gonna spawn. Could you let Cart bait out for it? If it's as weak as the other <coughs> things were <laughs> so far, I don't have to worry about I anything. So far, everything I fought was weak. Kill it! Oh, oh, it's a giant one! Whoa, it's level 50? Oh, he's for real! I know. Place your dogs. I know, oh, I, whoops. There. I did this one, so I gotta do this one. That was just free. I did this one. I did this one again. And now you match the blue one. He's dead. Like Jokey! See ya, buddy. Deliver the pristine salamander in wine to the Flahav. Go back to Wineport, Brandon. You gotta teleport. It's Eastern Lanosia, Wineport. I can't still read her name. Flahaman? Yeah, Flahaman. I think that's the best guess. Muhammad? Muhammad? Flahaman? Flahaman, Muhammad? That'd be a Lala name. I don't think you can put Muhammad as a name in this game. <laughs> Muhammad is the most Maybe. common human name. It is. Muhammad. So why wouldn't you be able to? Maybe you can. Maybe you, just, maybe you can't put, like... Hitler Christ or something. Speaking of the Waking Sands. You gotta go back to the Wait, Waking that Sands. That is a Western Thailand. Yeah! Uh, this one? Right? Yep. yep. So I think you're right about that one. <laughs> yeah! I made a point there. Do you you're not playing uh, Half Life Alex, dude? I don't know what you're talking about. Half Life Alex? What is that? You know Half Life? There, it takes you, know, a while. you know Half Life 1 and 2? Yeah. They made their they made their third one, which is a VR game called Half Life Alex. So people are and saying it just came it's out. super good. There you go. There's your third one. People have been waiting 15 years for that game. I've never played any of them. I haven't either. I don't understand. I'm I'm sure that there's a there's a good reason to have hype or a neat or want a third one. A lot of people who don't want to deal with VR though are trying to figure out how they can. Mod it. Mod it to work, but like with so the controller, same, you have like full motion. Yeah. You can grab anything with either hand, so people are having some trouble. 
Because some people get sick with VR. Would you play Mario 64 in VR? No, you get sick of that. I would. Can you imagine doing that your triple jump, Tyler? Because Mario does like two front flips. You're like, whoa, oh my god. You start getting queasy immediately. Well, if you do a first person view on it, yeah, you would definitely. If I had wing cap, I'd probably throw up. I heard a lot of people <laughs> say. so fun. I heard a lot of people say Half Life 1 and 2 aren't actually that good now. Like, they didn't age well. Oh. They were good back then because they were like the first physics engine games. Fire Emblem Ages, I don't even know what kind of games they were. I heard they were fun for because they were the first physics engines, but now there's so many physics engines. It's like. Hey, whatever. Play, if you play it, yeah, it's whatever. Brad, it talked to me in Filey Eye. You Filey Eye? <laughs> I'm being dumb. Kind of like how half of the PlayStation 1 and Nintendo 64 library were only awesome because. Whoa, 3D games? <laughs> <gasps> it's I'm a woman. woman. Hey, Celia, they're like calling each other nicknames. Her job job is usually like, <laughs> man, we gotta take off that hat. <laughs> we can't see I her face in cutscenes. I keep forgetting. No kids. Oh, <laughs> that's the joke everyone always does. No kids. <laughs> right, Drew? Have you ever seen that joke? Yeah, I know. No kids. Because in parentheses means whispering. Yeah. I yeah, I think. Cause how else would you show that you're whispering? Usually people do like smaller text, but yeah. that's not really possible. No, I mean the text or, is already too small. Or grayed out text. Time Infinity was crying, man. He had some freaking. You're so decency. happy to see her. I'm having decency. So I know, I'm just I'm so joking. proud of you, Ascilia. I'm just like teasing you guys. I'm so proud of you. Drew! Yes. Her glasses don't have legs. No, she has the uh, Invisilegs. No, what is it called? Oh, I don't like glasses with legs. They're called without legs. I mean, I know they they make glasses like that. No, no, it's a it's a French word. I can't I can't remember. It's like let me look it up. Yeah, you look it up. They do have glasses like that. But yeah, but that was only a style in like the 1910s and stuff. Yeah, people didn't really... 18, 1890s, 1900, 1910. It was on like a chain most of the time to hang around your neck. Yeah. garden just... chairs, today's hot item. But those ones just stick to her face because you know... Johanna, hmm. I learned an interesting money-making trick. What? You wait and see what the hot item is, and if it's something you can make cheap, you mass-produce it and get a lot of money. Do oh, pince nez. It's when, uh... Uh, she, she's wearing pins nez, which is glasses that have no legs, and then this part right here... It pinches your nose. It pinches your nose, so you gotta, like, open it. Kind of like a uh, clothespin. Mm -hmm. It clothespins on there, and it just it just sticks there, and it has no legs. We had, two, those, we had they, two presidents that wore them before. They get very... Yeah, after a while. It, I, it probably, yeah. Starts to rub the wrong way. I would probably make... But then someone developed, let's put legs on it so it's more comfortable. Yeah. And it's less likely to fall off. Thank you. But they used to usually add a chain next to it sometimes so you can yeah. put it on and so off more would, easily. You just lift it up to read and then they yep. let it dangle. And I don't like glasses like that. I always just look weird. Well, yeah. It's been I'm out, like, come on. Brad, it's been outdated for 100 years now. I don't. So there's a reason people don't wear it. It's a little risky. She's a little old. She's old. Legs. Well, she has fangs because she's a moon cat. Oh, the moon cats. We made ours a sun cat. Yeah, we're a sun cat. <gasps> Pokemon, sun, and moon. No. <laughs> I don't know. So we made ourselves the espion. Yeah. Because she knows morning sun, right? Isn't that a Pokemon move? Yeah. Isn't that a healing move? Like yeah, roost it's and. A healing move. Like roost and. It's red? not called morning sun, it's just called sunlight. Are you sure? Yeah, sunlight and moonlight. Moonlight's a fairy move. Can I look it up? Yeah. Hey, look it up. I might be a little wrong on that. They're but just like reuniting, Brandon. But yeah, yeah it, is like, <laughs> hey, it, is, it is a, it is a healing move. You are right about that one. And moonlight was fairly new because it's fairy type. That's an 80 power move, I think. It's 80 yeah, I was 60. right. Morning sun. It heals the user's oh, half of its HP. What? I've never heard of this Pokemon move. Yeah, Soul Rock has it because Lunatone has the moon version of it, which is Moonlight. I thought Moonlight was the fairy attack. Just take attack. the money. Huh? I thought Moonlight was the fairy attack. Moonblast is the fairy attack. Alright, Brad, oh, talk to her yeah. again! Moonblast, my bad. Yeah. Moonblast, Moonlight, yeah, you remember. 
What are you talking about? I don't know. I just noticed we wear weird gloves. They just came with the outfit, Brandon. They're like little laces around your fingers. And they, they connect with rings. I know. I like mage gloves like Robin and Tharjo Fire Emblem. It's one ring here and then it's like a whole glove. Yeah. And it like comes to a point. Well, who are these Those doofuses? Are cool. Look at this they guy. They look retarded, dude. Get out of here. In the ring. I have brought retards with me. Monica? I don't like her what she's wearing. I always thought monocles. <laughs> she you looks must... like a slob, Johanna. I've always thought like to get a monocle to stay like that. Together. You <laughs> have to like squint. That make your, like your dad dressed her. For what? She's... Monocle to stay. You have to, oh, like... yeah, you do. God, it is true because sometimes stats aren't the best. At that. I know. <laughs> My monocles just seem so oh, impractical. Oh, they're gonna. They're just helping you move to your new base. Because we're gonna, we're never gonna come here again soon. I we're gonna know, the base is moving somewhere else. I like how monocles. Where do you think you're clothing? Uh, Johanna <laughs> rash, really ratting, rashing on her outfit. That's what, funny. The girl that was in there. Yeah, she was wearing like a slobby bra black gown with baggy <laughs> white thigh boots. Just kind of, just kind of, she just put something on in the dark. It's like, oh, okay. okay. I can't see. This works. How how hard do you think it would be to wear a monocle? Cause that guy had a monocle. I, I don't know how how I people like have it on. Uh, yeah, I feel like it's super uncomfortable. I think it pitches between. I think it pitches between your bone on your eye and the, the cheek on the bottom. Like no that. thanks. That would hurt. Okay. Well, okay. Speak with Muhammad. That would hurt, man. Speak with Muhammad. Around. We're gonna call him Muhammad because that's easier. That'd be really close to your eye too. The Mecca. Jesus. Just imagine putting it in long. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. No, thank you. It's stylish, but. Yeah, stylish. they look stylish. Definitely not today's fashion. Not worth it. They always make people look rich. Go to the Goldsmiths Guild. So you gotta go to Uldah, Brandon. Which Uldah. is the city of the desert. Yeah. Uldah. Ah, the city of Thandaland, Brandon. Of, steps of mold. You know Uldah? The city of the desert? I just know what he's doing. It's the city of Thandaland, yes. What are you crafting there? Master. A thousand chairs? Alright, Brandon, Master you see the right? Natural garden chairs. They sell... Because it's a hot item today. No, it's go like back. 4,400. Oh, yeah, use that to teleport. Go to the. Oh, I remember where we're yeah. going. Goldsmith's Guild. Remember Serendipity? We've been over here a lot. Yeah, Serendipity, we... Pippity, Dippity, and Mippity. Yeah, the, the story's been making us come here a few times. Present Flahaman's Aria of Mimidesu. Desune? I don't know what she's talking about. Oh, that's a Lala's name. Mimidesu. Desu. <laughs> Nani Yeah, take these earrings, bro. Nani? Nani? Nani Yeah, take those earrings. Speak with Odinel at Birgot Strike. I have no idea where that is, so let me... Whoa. I don't know where that is at all. Oh, oh Brandon, that's in uh, Eastern Thanaland. Oh, oh no, that's in, that's in South Southern Thanaland. Southern, you said? Basically, this ass is making you go in the middle of a desert. Southern Thailand! Yeah! Johanna. Yeah? I'm getting a little cringe. I'm just trying to spice it up. I'm getting a little cringe feeling down my spine. I'm gonna spice up the story a little bit with our own. Uh, yeah, see? Hey. Johanna gets it. She gets That's it. That's a lot of leaves, Tyler. That's all money right there. It's all chairs. I was watching one of our really old videos, and there was a part where SpongeBob said, I fudged my pants, and the room went dead quiet. And Brandon, I couldn't say it as... I couldn't. I can't even replicate it as monotone as he said. But he said, like, what the hell? Like, it was... <laughs> that was for the battle for... And then we all just, like, laughed out of our noses, like, huh. <laughs> This SpongeBob said I fudged my pants. It's just out of nowhere. It's just the little things that are funny like that. <laughs> Odin hell? What the hell? Odin. What the hell? All right, you gotta go back. Go back to the Goldsmiths Guild, cause this part of the game is freaking two out of ten. It's worth it worse than Fire Emblem Five, and that's saying something. What? This yeah, that is kind of saying something. <laughs> Fire Emblem series is my favorite, but five is definitely a very weak link. Go back to the. I love Leaf as a character. You see it right, Brandon? Just teleport there. That's right. I love Leaf as a character, but God, that the game is that a lot of money. Yeah. Go to the Goldsmiths Guild. Yes. I just used all of my hardwood and what? Do I talk to him in the next episode? No, I talk to him right now. Then we'll stop. Seventy-five thousand off of them. Goldsmiths Guild. Talk to Mimi Desu. 
I'll talk to you from down here. <laughs> can't talk to him from down here. You just gotta go and see what the hot Good. item is. No, no, I require no payment. Alright, in the next episode, Tyler's gonna, or Brandon is gonna. For my last episode? Yeah, you're gonna deliver the earrings back to Flahaman. Or Muhammad, I'm sorry. I don't know,